joined by track and field head coach Derek Gay to talk about the men's track and field results from today's Trojan invite. First off, what's it like to get to see the team compete here at home in a place that they practice uh, day in and day out? Yeah, it's it's always fun. Um, they're just extra competitive, and again, this meet is typically it's home, so they're a little more relaxed and laid back, and we typically see some pretty good times. Big two heights cleared on the pole vault. First up, we'll talk about Isaac Brown getting the A standard cleared 4.75 meters today. Yeah, uh, senior uh, had an awesome indoor season last year. He's maybe struggled a little bit uh, just getting back to that level right now, but it was great to see him turn his B into an A. And then Josh Forbes already had the A standard. He liked seeing Isaac get the A standard, so he ups his A standard today as well. Yeah, they've got a fun little rivalry. Uh, Josh being a sophomore, he's a little younger. Isaac's taking him under his wing. It's, it's fun to see those guys go back and forth. It's awesome. What's it like to see a guy like Isaac, who had a really strong showing at the Outdoor National Championships a year ago, parlay that into the indoor season this year? It's just, it's so cool to see him be just a little bit disappointed sometimes when he hits like B standard. Like that's fun for guys to be like, oh man, I, I hit B, I can do better. Uh, and that's the kind of person and competitor he is. He always wants to improve. He's got, he's got big goals and I think he'll get there. No surprise to anybody that follows track and field at Taylor or the men's cross country program. A distance guy picks up an, an A or B standard today. It was Ryan Hannig in the 3K. Yeah, Ryan, he's been running really well. I think he had a pretty good cross season. Um, it's fun to yeah, just see that group on the track competing and really starting to get things rolling again. It's a young crew uh, on the guy's side anyway. Uh, big sophomore class uh, and some talent in, in the freshman class as well. So. What can this meet do for some of the other folks you had on the men's side today that maybe didn't hit an A or B standard but got to the finals in their event? Yeah, I think it's a big confidence builder. Um, anytime you get two races instead of one uh, in your event, that's, that's big, especially those 60, 60 hurdles. Um, you, it's one more rep at a really, really high level. It's not something you can simulate in practice, so it's, it's awesome when our kids get to do that.